with sunscreens being regulated as listed medicines, there's a lot of science and a little bit of art when it comes to formulating a sunscreen. So it takes a great deal of time and there are multiple rounds of testing, in particular when it comes to SPF testing, to make sure that the combination of UV filters has been optimized to deliver that highest protection. It really comes down to the choice of the suitable filters, the choice of the suitable ingredients for the different vehicles, for the different formulas, to make sure that all the testing that is going to be carried out in terms of performance but also um, skin irritation and compatibility with sensitive skin in particular are still part of that delivery in terms of performance and safety that is all about SunSense. They both work with the objective of reducing the amount of ultraviolet radiation hitting the skin. But chemical absorbers or chemical blockers work by absorbing the ultraviolet radiation and then dissipating that energy uh, throughout the skin in, in a non-damaging um, way. Physical blockers actually work by reflecting that UV radiation away from the skin. So the different mechanisms of action, but in the end the same result which is basically taking that excess of energy away from the skin and minimizing skin damage. The recommendation is to avoid exposure to any ultraviolet radiation under six months of age. So the recommendation in that case is to just keep babies away from the sun, uh, put adequate protective clothing and definitely look for shade. Above six months, it's really important to um, use products that have been tested. For example, our SunSense Junior is pediatrician tested, which means that a pediatrician has followed uh, the application of the product on, on babies six months and older to make sure that you can still guarantee the protection without any possible adverse reaction or irritation to the skin. Teenagers in particular, especially if the concern is oily skin, it's recommended to use a lighter product that is not cream-based. For example, SunSense Clear Mist or SunSense Clear Gel. They still provide the suitable SPF protection, very high protection, but they have a lighter feel and definitely will not impact the skin appearance of oily skin. For adult skin or overall for the whole family, SunSense Sport and SunSense Ultra are actually very good products, all around products that provide the highest uh, possible UV protection and still guarantee a very nice light skin feel for everyone. If a facial moisturizer with SPF means that you're only applying the product once or twice a day, it's probably not enough. It's a good starting point to make sure that you do provide uh, SPF protection to the skin, but then you want to top that up if you know that your activities during the day are gonna take you outside, even just for a walk on the beach or a lunch break. So you wanna use a purpose-made sunscreen that still provides moisturization, such as the SunSense Center, SunSense Moisturizing Face, or the SunSense Daily Face products.